Okay, good morning. First of all, I would like to say thank you to the committee of uh, WULFLD, Asia Pacific Division, especially for my dear Professor Law and my friends for inviting me for this Congress. Now I'm talking about uh, laser and endodontics. Uh, our title is The Power of Bubble in Endodontics Using Arabium Chromium YSDG Laser at wavelength to 1780 nano or 2.78 micron. It will be much easier for us to understand if we recap at a glance <coughs> the principle of root canal therapy. Shipping of the root canal has developed with advances in mental technology. However, due to the anatomical complexity and irregularity of the root canal system, cleaning the root canal still relies heavily on the adjunctive use of irrigation solution. So during root canal therapy, irrigation procedures is an important part. But, however, in fact that the root canal is a root canal is surrounded by periodontal ligament and bone. The root canal acts like a closed end system. This closed end system prevents the irrigation solution reach to the working line. What is the reason behind this? Imagine when a root canal, a dry root canal, is irrigated by the insertion of irrigation needle, an empty space may develop at the apical region. So the bad guy is an empty space because of, of the result of air entrapment. The bad guy of the empty space because of uh, air entrapment at the apical region. So, to understand the physical mechanism of air entrapment, please watch this video. <coughs> when a, a non-closed system or an open system is irrigated, the irrigation solution can fill the entire root canal as a result of capillary action <coughs> without any ever the irrigation solution fills the entire root canal. On the contrast, if we close one end, so it becomes a closed end system. So we cannot the irrigation, I mean, the irrigation cannot reach to the working line as a result of air entrapment. It means that the irrigation solution cannot contact with the root canal entirely. So, some researchers propose Techniques such as gutta percha or plastic cone or file strokes, or now we can use uh, sonic or ultrasonic activation. 
But fortunately, these techniques are not sufficiently enough in removing trapped air from the apical region. So how about laser activation? Effective irrigation is thought to come from the, a combination between fluid dynamic, mechanical forces, and chemistry. And the fluid motion or fluid dynamic does not only cleanse the root canal via hydrodynamic shear stress, but it also provides refreshment of irrigation solution, transports the reaction products away from the root canal and dislodges the smear layer or debris from the root canal. To get such a combination of fluid dynamic mechanical forces or a shear stress, we use laser to activate irrigation solution. Now, Professor Goodnight and I concluded in this research when the insertion of irrigation needle is shorter than the working length, air entrapment may develop in the apical, apical region. But fortunately, laser activation is completely effective in removing air entrapment. It means that the root canal is filled, can be filled with irrigation solution along the working line. So the irrigation solution can contact directly and entirely with the canal wall, the irrigation solution. Okay? Consequently, if we use ADT as an irrigation solution. In another study, the use of laser with a plain fiber tip with embryum chromium or ICG laser, which produces cavitation in the fluid, has potential as an alternative method in removing smear layer. So, now we have a new word of cavitation. Maybe uh, Dr. Kenneth has said at a glance about cavitation. Cavitation is defined as uh, a bubble formation in the fluid. So, laser activation is based on cavitation. To understand the mechanism underlying the cavitation in the root canal during laser activation, in this video, it is a, a striped small an extracted tooth, and we irrigate the canal. Irrigation solution just occupy only around the pulp cavity and the tip, the placement of the tip of laser just around the orifice, the cervical region, just hovering the tip around the orifice. Instead of inserting the tip deep down to the working line. So we can see here, within less than a second, the root canal is filled with irrigation solution. And of course, with bubbles because of cavitation. Okay. Now it is a, a transparent acrylic with a curved canal. The same effect occur during laser activation, no matter the type of canal. Laser activation, which causes 
cavitation can drive the solution to the working lab. This is a cavitation, how beautiful it is, full of bubbles. Okay? In clinical setting, we irrigate the canal continuously and we use the suction all the time and we just put the laser just hovering around the orifice instead of inserting the tip deep down to the working line. It is similar to the pin from the RBOB. Now it is interesting to, to try to understand how an irrigation solution feels and eventually fills the entire root canal despite the fact that an empty space is always formed at the apical region when the solution enters a dry root canal. In this video, the black one was captured with a high-speed camera, 100,000 frame per, frames per second, by assuming, as I said, whether the dry root canal is irrigated shorter than the working length, the, the insertion of the needle shorter than the working length, air entrapment may develop at the apical region. So we can get solution column and an air column because of two different phases of fluid density it forms a layer of surface molecule that acts like a, surf, a stretch membrane. The stretch membrane acts like a surface, uh, it is called a surface tension. Here, it, the surface tension at the solution air interface. So, the surface tension has its own internal energy. The energy which comes from ultrasonic activation or sonic activation is not sufficient enough in disrupting the internal energy of this interface. So we have two bad guys. The first time, uh, the first thing is air entrapment, and the other thing is the internal energy at the surface tension. Now we can see how the laser activation can disrupt the internal energy. Every pulse of laser forms a bubble and then the bubble implodes the energy which comes from the implosion reaches to the surface tension to disrupt the internal energy of the surface tension and form finally form a droplet at the apical region so it means that Every single pulse of laser forms a droplet at the apical region and if its uh, droplets coalesce each other and form a larger and larger volume of solution. And finally, the root canal is filled with irrigation solution and of course with bubbles.
Now at the right, at the left side, the, the video was captured with a, a normal speed of video. We can see uh, the, the same effect with the normal eye. You can see this, every droplet, every per pulse. Now, the entire root canal is filled with the mediation solution. Now, this is my study with Professor Lemore, that the mechanism underlying the removal of the trap air from the apical region using albium chromium YCG laser is via the disruption of the internal energy, the surface tension at the sol uh, solution air interface. This disruption caused by the bubble implosion displaces air from the apical region in the form of bubbles at the solution region which allow the solution to travel epically. It, this process uh, occur at the same time. Because of this process, the two phases of different the two different phases of uh, uh, fluid density flow in opposite direction. We call it as a two-phase quarter flow. Of course, laser activation, because laser is a thermal energy, so laser can produce heat. And of course, because of the implosion of the bubble, it creates pressure wave in the solution. So it creates pressure as well. Professor Demore and R in, in this uh, study, sorry. Concluded that the measurement of the magnitude of the pressure ex ex changes during laser activation. If we use 0 0.75 watts to 1 to 75 watts, was comparable to the lymphatic pressure or capillary pressure. It's around 10 to 25 millimeter. Uh, mercury. So we have to be aware the closer the insertion of the fiber to the impact, the higher the brazen. And this is another study. In this study, we concluded that the magnitude of the temperature changes during laser activation was not exceed over. 5 degrees Celsius. Those are in vitro studies. How about using laser activation in the clinic? To the best of our knowledge, this is the first in vitro study. And we use a mixture of solution. Uh, we mix contrast medium with ADT or sodium hypochloride and we concluded that no contrast medium was observed at the apical tissues. So this laser activation is regarded to be safe. Ah, okay, time is up and I hope that you can get benefit from this lecture and I hope you can apply these techniques with your confidence but remember you have to be stick to the procedures.
And the conclusion I said before that uh, we have two bad guys. One is air entrapment and the internal energy at the so sur surface tension, I mean, at the solution air interface. But laser energy can overcome this problem. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter, for <clears throat> simplifying this for us to show us the mechanics of cavitation uh, energy to lasers. Uh, this one way, of course, of uh, the breedlement in the root canal, apart from sterilization too. I've also heard of a laser tip that is small enough to go in with lateral firing, meaning that the laser is going in there are holes by the side that the laser beam can be delivered naturally to the walls as well. So that helps a lot. And laser tip takes go beyond the apex to treat the periapical infection, granuloma, cyst. So as I said earlier on, you can actually do close surgery for apical lesions. Now, uh, the, the fibers are small enough to pass through that. The next speaker I'd like to introduce is uh, Dr. Shige Nagai from Japan. He is a very successful practitioner, but uh, having done all that, he goes back to school, so to speak, and uh, is obtaining his PhD, and I think it's laser related to. Uh, Shige has got a vast experience in uh, lasers in his prime practice, and let's hear from him. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Well, uh, morning, and uh, today uh, I will talk about the laser in the aesthetic and implant dentistry. But, uh, it's uh, only just 30 minutes, so uh, maybe uh, I will focus on the implant dentistry. Or if you want to hear about the aesthetic dentistry, I can do that. So which one is good for you? Aesthetic? Okay, so I will talk about the implant. <laughs> because I'm sorry about this, but okay, okay, I will change the subject, okay. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh,